how's everyone doing? I am Mobile Master Tech, also known as Terrell352. And right now I'm in Umatilla, Florida. It's kind of in the middle of the Ocala National Forest. Previously over here, T-Mobile had no service. They had a Sprint Keep site that was here with Verizon that they finally obtained some service on. And it does appear that this tower um, is now online. And they have given it the royal treatment in 41 and 71, the works. And as you can see, band two in 41. Is it six carry? That's wrong. That's probably an error. Let me see if I can go back in and fix that real quick. Nope, still saying that it's probably air on the tower, but um, very likely 120 megahertz of N41. And then we have uh, band 66 at 20 megahertz. So let's do a speed test, ultra capacity right there in the sign. It's not the kind of ping I would like to see. The backhaul is so-so. Remember this was Sprint. They had to do, you know, they're probably using what they had. And this is Verizon. Well, let me run the speed test really fast. Get rid of that for a minute. We're gonna run the speed test on Verizon, but I wanna see what's on the engineering screen as well. Verizon, this tower is a band 13 only site. There's plenty of those unfortunately left in, you know, really small areas. There we go. So it's just kind of for coverage for now. There is no permit uh, for Verizon to fix this, but it does work. Now T-Mobile did just come and leapfrog them out of nowhere thanks to Sprint, new coverage and better speeds on a whole. Although I ain't too sure about the ping times, it's usually a lot better. But this tower did just come online very recently. There could be some bugs to work out. And let's see what AT&T has in store for us. It's really bright out today, so I'm trying to get there. Let's see if I can mitigate some of the sunlight really quick. see sorry for all the shaky cam I'll just turn up the brightness which allegedly is at max brightness but I don't think so here let's just uh gonna turn around really quick get the sun out of my face. That's better, that's better, okay. Seeing what the tower looks like, doesn't matter. Go do one more speed test. Horizon over here. Horizon got a little faster, slowed down. AT&T doing pretty bad. <laughs> okay, Rosin sped up a little bit and then T-Mobile. Not quite what N41 truly is capable of, but with Sprint's backhaul, I'm not complaining. Yeah, it'll work. All right, let's just do a quick video playback test on all of them, of course. As always, uh, Verizon, no issues. Don't expect T-Mobile to have any issues. It's 
play this one. Hey, what's going on, everybody? And that's Tyrone from this Tech Life. This is Tyrone Life. back with buddy. Tech Life. And in this so, video, we just got a home internet. Shout out to Tyrone from Tech Life channel. Uh, subscribe to his YouTube channel. Also, check out um, the Tech Extremist. Great YouTube channels. Good, good, uh, good friends of mine. So, no problem with T-Mobile. Let's check AT and T out. AT and T's having some issues, but I think if I wait long enough, it should start. They're having issues. Okay, so two out of three. AT&T could use some work. Maybe they need to hop on this tower as well. I will tell you one thing. I know some people don't believe in the Sprint Keep sites, at least for my county, Marion County. Um, there are several areas where T-Mobile had no service where the Sprint Keep sites are really helping T-Mobile out, such as Fort McCoy, Florida, um, over here in Umatilla, Florida, uh, close to Williston. T-Mobile had a lot of Keep sites where T-Mobile had no service over there. So they're really helping out. It's great to see. And then in the, in the other places, it's just adding better density. So it's really nice to see how much they've improved just by converting Sprint Keep sites over to T-Mobile Towers with all the bells and whistles that comes with that. We'll do one more speed test and we'll pull out of here. 213 for the down, 28 millisecond ping for a millisecond jitter, and over almost 100. Can we get 120? Keep it that way. Yeah, 120 for the upload. Verizon band 13 only, 13.9, 30 millisecond ping, uh, 4 millisecond jitter, and about 15. Very doable. I will say on this trip over here, Verizon by far has been the most consistent, followed by T Mobile, and then ATT has been the worst of the three. Unfortunately, but that's gonna do it for the video if you like what you see on the channel like share subscribe follow me on Twitter at Terrell 352 don't forget to check out a uh, tech life channel and the tech extremists I will link them in the description down below for you guys to check out and until the next video I'm out